welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the vlog. This week's vlog is gonna be a weekend in my life vlog. So I'm just gonna take you through just like a typical weekend. We actually have more going on this weekend than we usually do. So hopefully it'll be a little more interesting. Logan's in the back. Say hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? We're on our way to um, meet a couple friends at a brewery right now. I opened up some new Sephora makeup before I, when I got ready today and I tried this new Givenchy powder. I feel like I told you guys I got this and I just have to show you, like look how smooth, I'm trying to get the light to not be, look how smooth. I will probably try and use it for you so I can show you, but I am so happy with it, so impressed. But anyway, that's just a little side note. We're gonna head over there and just hang out. And then tonight we actually have dinner plans with some other friends. We're just, we're, like I said, we're doing way more this week than we normally get. We are. We're, we're, we we're booked and busy this weekend. So um, yeah, we'll do a little maybe get ready with me tonight. I don't know. We'll see. We're just flying by the seat of our pants on this vlog. So on the drive over, Logan decided to take a big poop. So we're literally changing him in the car before we go in because I know it's gonna be a disaster. Ethan, oh, how bad is it? So, changing him in the car is really fun because he does not stop moving, so that's the situation. <laughs> the girl did not vlog last night. Not proud of it, not happy about it, but I did not vlog and it's okay. I basically, I don't know, I was just in the moment, I wasn't focused. So, hi, right now I'm doing a little skin prep. I figured we could do a get ready with me and I can test out the Kosas foundation because I finally got it and I'm excited. So I have to do some work today. It's Sunday, but that's okay. I'm gonna get a little work done. I'm skin prepping with a bunch of Glow Recipe stuff. I actually bought the Michaela, the Michaela makeup collab with Glow Recipe. I bought her little kit to test it out. Her skin and her makeup always looks freaking flawless. So I was like, yeah, I need to like change my skin prep a little bit. Let's try this. So it comes with these three products. It comes with the avocado recovery serum, the watermelon dew drops, and then the plumping hyaluronic cream. So I've just been using all three and I actually really liked it. And I did a full face of makeup the other night. So I'm like, I'm gonna keep doing it, keep this like consistent. My skin is finally coming back around after my Morpheus. It was definitely going through like a purging stage. Plus it was that time of the month last week. So I definitely think like I was getting some hormonal breakouts. Like this little guy is really cute, but he's healing. I just got out of the shower as you can probably tell. I didn't wash my hair, but I did need to get it wet because we had swim this morning. And I went in with Logan and I got like some chlorine in my hair. So I was like, I need to rinse that out. I'm just gonna put my JVN shine drops in. Do like, you really don't need many of these, like three drops, rub it. And then this is a heat protectant. It's gonna make it shiny. It has such good ingredients for your hair. So I just kind of like zhuzh it all around. And this is really all I do when I'm, when I'm not fully washing my hair, but I need, I always do some kind of product before I style. This is also a heat protector, did I say that? So we're just gonna let that sit while we do our makeup. So, ordered some clippies from Amazon because my hair is always my way. I think these are super convenient. I do wanna get some alligator clips. Okay, I'm very excited. So I got the shade Light Neutral 140. Here's the box, their packaging is always really cute. Oh, you know what else I got that I want to, I actually got a bunch of new Sephora stuff. I might just use it all on camera today to show you. So here it is. I also got the lip plumping gloss. I'm definitely gonna use that because I was dead over it last night. So here we go, let's see. Okay, it's pump. I really hope I shade match myself, okay. Okay, I did two and a half pumps. We're gonna need to use a sponge. So let me go wet my sponge because per usual we are not prepared as sponges. We're back, we're ready, here we go. Oh, it's a little light. I did self tan so I could be darker than I usually am, but it's a little light. It might blend out, let's just start. I'm nervous. Okay, let's just start. 
If you guys don't know about Kosas, they are basically skincare makeup. Like their whole thing is just insanely clean and you don't need to feel bad wearing it because it's like such good clean ingredients for your skin. My initial reaction is good. Actually, the shade is perfect. Thought it was gonna be a little light, but it's perfect. I need this mirror closer to me. I feel like, I feel like, like my eyes might be getting worse or something. I feel like I cannot see. Okay, she's definitely a medium coverage foundation. I'm gonna show you guys with the light right in front. All right, so here, look at all the different light settings that, see how the difference that light makes? So this one I have right now is the most natural, I think. Yeah, this one. And that's just the outside, but it's too dark out right now, so we need some light, much better. Okay, so like I was saying, she's definitely a medium coverage, for sure. I'm okay with it. My skin is shining through, but it's definitely evening everything out. It feels, not too sticky, but maybe a little, like I probably need to set it a little bit. I feel like it's, it is still pretty glowy. I might need to do a little Hollywood Flawless on top. This is the Kosas Concealer, so we're just gonna try and keep it in the Kosas family right now. I don't love this concealer shade for me. I'm in the shade 3.2, or this is what I got. I don't love it, it's a teeny bit too yellow for me. So keep that in mind. It is a very pretty concealer though. And again, like it just feels good to be wearing clean makeup, you know? actually feel like with the concealer, I'm liking the foundation even more. Yeah, actually I'm liking it a lot more. I might do a teeny bit more and I might do a brush. Like what if we did like half a pump on my Morphe M439? Just for shits and gigs. Let's see. Okay, so it's buildable. Do you see how that kind of increased the coverage a little bit? So here it is, guys. Here's an up close skin. No filter, Kosas concealer. You saw, I mean foundation, you saw the before and after. You saw the before, here's the after. I'm into it. I'm definitely into it. I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna finish up my makeup and come back and show you guys how it wears. But so far, I like it. I'm not obsessed with it, I'll tell you that. But give me, give it some time. This is just my initial first impression. Like I just don't feel like super passionate about it, you know? <laughs> like I still think I like Dior Air Flash better and I still think I like Luminous Silk better. Keep in mind the price points are very different and those aren't necessarily like good for your skin. So we'll check back in in a minute. Okay, I'm back, which it's been like two seconds. I just put my brows on and I did a little Hollywood Flawless and a little, Charlotte setting spray and just kind of like do 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 do. I do feel like it's much more glowy. This is more my vibe, but and I I actually use this with like every single foundation. So that was my bad not using it from the start. But I do I'm, I'm loving the glow. I really want to use the Givenchy powder on top. This was another product that I got from Sephora. This is the shade three rose prism libre powder. So this is like a matte finish. So you have to be careful how much you use of it. Comes with a little powder puff and it has like this pink-ish iridescent tone to it. Can you see how that? it's like a little pink? Like these two, these three are pink. So I'm gonna like just, I, I've only used this twice. I really don't know if I'm using it correctly. Just getting a little bit out on the cap and then dipping this in. And then I'm just going to pat off excess, like there's a lot of excess right there on the back of my hand so that we don't go too crazy. And then I wanna show you guys how this brightens and sets. You see it's like instantly mattified and it's much brighter under there. So I just kinda hit the areas that need to be a little more set, like that kinda get oily. I really love that powder. I think it's so pretty. I think it like blurs everything, kinda airbrushes everything, which is really nice. And I still feel like, I definitely feel matte, but I still feel like you can see a glow coming through. Maybe, I, yeah, you still can. But it's definitely more mattified than I normally do. So I'm just kind of playing around with this product, seeing how I feel about it. I also need to do a little more research on like, really how to use it, because I don't, I think there are other ways to be using it that I probably could be. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'm gonna keep using it and I'll be like, 
showing you guys on my videos kind of where I'm at with it, but just kind of dusting off the excess. Excess, not access. <laughs> so the foundation looks pretty good at this point with the powder. Now I'm really gonna finish everything and come back and show you guys the final look. All right guys, here's the full face. The foundation is nice. I don't, like don't get me wrong. It actually ended up like laying very beautifully on the skin. I just feel like it took me a little time to kind of like finesse it, if that makes sense. So I don't know, I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. I'll tell you guys like how the wear test goes for the next few hours and before I wash it off tonight, but I wanted to put on the Kosas wet gloss. What is it? Wet lip oil. It's a plumping wet lip oil. This is the shade Unhooked. The tone of this is like this neutral mauve-y mauve. -y mauve. <laughs> and like, do you see the consistency? It's almost like this like whipped, it's like a whipped gloss. I don't know how to describe it. And it might be the applicator that's making me feel that way, but it feels so comfortable on the lips. I think the shade is beautiful. Like I said, it's plumping, which is amazing. So anyway, that's the full look for right now. We are now gonna get some, oh no, I have to do my hair. I have no desire to do my hair. So I think I'm going, oh, Normally I would air wrap it, but I just think that's gonna take me forever. So I might just like hit it with the hair dryer and see if we can keep a little of this texture, but I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm gonna get some content done that I need to shoot and I'm, I'm gonna do a little unboxing with you guys too because I have some PR over there I wanna show you. So that's my little hair hack. Hold on, I have hair stuck in my lip gloss. When I don't really care or want or have the time to style my whole head, I'll just like style the front pieces and make sure they look really good. And I'm just gonna pin the rest of it up, but now it all has like body and it's gonna look so much better up in a clip um, because I've dried it, but like only these front pieces are like curled and look great and that's really what's gonna show. The rest of this is just like pretty much straight and then I curled the ends under with the round brush and like you don't need an air wrap to do this. You could just style your hair this way with a round brush and a hair dryer. And I'm gonna grab a clip. And going to try and keep it messy, but like that, whoop do Boom. So now it just looks like poofy, clean hair, but I didn't spend all that time like doing a full thing, you know? Except I'm not sure about this. Honestly, my hair has so much body right now that it's having a hard time staying in the clip. I don't really have this problem. Okay. Cute, right? Love it. All right, let's go get this work done. And I think Ethan and I are gonna walk over to Market Basket and get steaks for dinner. My favorite meal, but anyway. Going to get this done. We're grabbing dinner right now. It's cold. Yeah. Can I go get some steaks? Mm -hmm. I want it. What do you want for a vegetable? Asparagus. Yeah. I do think. That. You want mashed potatoes? No, sweet potato, please. All right, sweet potato. Yeah. I'm gonna go get the essentials. Wow, this guy's really playing the violin right here. Yeah, I don't know if I want to read. He sounds good. He's very good. Food. Puffs. You got one of each. The boy. He loves these so much. We just basically only feed him these. <laughs> Do we need oatmeal? No, I bought another. Okay. Gonna try some new yogurt. Not banana mango. What about these? Just strawberry. That's, I like the happy baby ones better. Okay. There's regular, like there's strawberry here too. Yeah, the mixed berry ones were like a little chemical-y. Okay, so those are a no for us. 
but we're gonna try these. Should we get the strawberry too? Yeah. Okay. Couple of steaks. <laughs> so we're home cooking these steaks. They've already gone in the oven and then he puts them on the cast iron. It's called a reverse sear, right? Yes, that is what it's called. It's like my favorite way to eat steak. I love when you make it like this. And that looks like my baked potato. Mashed potatoes. Garlic, butter, thyme. Yep. So when are you gonna start doing stuff? Once this gets boiling hot, and the sticks are going. Okay. So we're gonna have to do one at a time. Oh god. Everything's okay. And then we're How okay. long? About a minute or two. Okay. Here, butter So it just took me 800 years to get Logan to bed. So by the time. <laughs> I got out here. The steak was already off, cooked. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks so good. I mean, I guess if you don't like meat, you don't get this, and that's okay. But if you do like meat, you do get it, and this looks good to you. <laughs> oh, steak is my favorite thing ever. Asparagus done. Too cooked? No, they're good, honey. We'll see. And then making my sweet potato. You're really mixing it up for me, huh? I am. You didn't have to do that. There's the finished plate. Amazing. Let me know if you guys have questions about this recipe as well, because I can definitely list it out for you if you're interested. I actually wanted to give you guys a wear test update on the foundation. I feel like it looks still pretty good. I mean, it's night, so it's like hard to see. Wait, I'm next to a light now. I feel like it did wear pretty well. And I've been like playing with Logan, touching my face, like, not really trying to be gentle with it. And yeah, so I do like it. I'll definitely keep wearing it and trying it out and keeping you guys posted. The Grammys are on. I don't think we're gonna watch them. I'm like not that interested. Um, and I already saw Justin and Haley, so checked that box. That's all I really cared about. So I think we're gonna put Peaky Blinders on and watch that and eat our dinner and have a little night because I don't know because it's night and it's dinner time and we're tired. I had to get up with Logan this morning at 6.30 because he woke up so early and I, this morning feels like two days ago at this point. It's just been a long day. So I'm gonna sign the vlog off. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with us. Enjoy your day, your night, whatever time it is when you're watching this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.